How's it going fellas and welcome to the channel where I kick back, relax and talk video games and today I'm going to be teaching you how to get an A plus in the My Career. I've been playing Hall of Fame and I've been getting 60 points, 15 assists, so I'm doing it all the time. I'm pretty much getting an A plus at around the second or third quarter. So I'll be teaching you all my tips and tricks to help you guys get an A plus in the My Career in NBA 2K20. So if you like that sort of stuff, leave a like, hit the subscribe button and let's get into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is using the pick and roll a lot. You really need to execute the pick and roll effectively if you want to beat Hall of Fame. It really is a must. So the first thing you want to do, if the player steps back, you know that little cheese that we've got at the moment with the My Career AI, where you set a pick and roll and he actually steps a few steps back. If you see the guy step a few steps back, don't just throw it up straight away. Take one step behind the pick and throw it up from there because you're pretty much wide open. Unless there's a really fast center, it's wide open every single time. So all you have to do, just watch that guy walk back a couple of steps and then step once to the right or to the left, depending where the pick is, just stand behind the pick and throw it up from there. If you're a shooter, it's lights out pretty much every single time. If the player doesn't step back and just stays up on the screen, you need to run him into the middle of the guy's chest. If you can run him into the middle of the guy's chest, it's virtually gonna take him out of the play. If you're a slasher, you'll be able to slash to the basket and hopefully the big man will come to you and the roller will roll to the basket and you can dish it to him for an easy basket or he doesn't commit and you can get an easy drive to the basket or if you're a shooter you can take an easy step back a hesitation pull up it's easy baskets you just have to make sure you run them into the center of the body and not into the arms or to the outside of them because you won't get a full-blown contact animation one last thing about the pick and roll don't forget the pick and pop the pick and pop works a lot of the time but you just have to be smart about it if both players overcommit and start chasing you your big man's wide open if the little guy starts chasing you, just reset, try something else. Try pick and roll, maybe try another pick and fade, or go to something else. But if they switch, it creates a mismatch for the big man. So if the big man fades, and then the little guy goes on to him, pass it to him anyway. Because that creates a mismatch. He'll probably post up and even try and spin around him and actually try and create a mismatch in the paint. So there's easy baskets there. If you ever feel that you're big man isn't going to score just pass it back out reset don't be scared to reset if something doesn't work just don't force things just reset you've got 24 seconds just reset and start again so the next thing i want to talk about is using fast break points to your advantage now knowing your opposition's feedback on their shots you can make fast break points a hell of a lot easier if you see it's a very early release and it's 100% contested you can start running just don't use the turbo if you're a fast guard you don't have to use the turbo but if you're a slower player you probably will have to use the turbo because you don't want to get too far past halfway before you hit x you can chance it going further towards the three point line but you want to be hitting x a few steps after the after the half court line because any later it gives it that animation chance that you might throw that bad pass and things like that so you just want to do it the earlier the better and it's easy baskets because if you are 90 speed like what most offensive threats or even a lot of point guards are very very fast you can outrun a lot so if you're not as fast as a point guard or things like that you want to fake you have to have the ability to fake a defender by running to the three-point line which brings him out and if you're a slasher you can use your strength to blow by him a lot of the time but you can't just choose one or the other you've got to drag the the ai into the paint so half run into the paint like start running towards the paint and as soon as you see that player drift straight into the paint hit the three-point line hit x and if the shooter's open, shoot the ball. If he's not, try and get a blow-by animation. It's very, very easy this year, the my career, in my opinion. If you guys are struggling, these tips will work. You've just I'm going to try and show it the best I can when I am in editing and try and show you the same things and what I'm talking about at the time. So hopefully you'll be able to see that I do it. And it's easy buckets, fellas. As long as your team plays half-decent defense, you're winning every single game. 
So the next thing I want to talk about is dribbling. The best two dribble moves I've found in my career is the Pro 3 behind the back and the Pro, Pro 8 Hesitation. They are must-have dribble moves because they create so much space for yourself. Throw those dribble moves on. If you don't have those dribble moves, guys, and you can't get them, there's not a lot I can do with this section of it. So maybe if you just want to skip to the passing or whatever, or just listen through because it does help you a lot because these... Even slower dribble moves or even just using these dribble moves but not the specific animations will still work but just not as effectively. But if you do have these dribble moves, these create so much space for yourself. You just do a behind the back which is run down the court with R2 with the turbo. But let go of the R2, the turbo before you hit down on the right stick and you'll do a behind the back. And that creates so much space for yourself. You can All you have to do is hit down on the right stick, as I said, and then hit left or right or different ways. And it creates little dribble moves outside of that. And you combo them together and do different things. It all starts from that one dribble move or the, or the behind the back when you're standing still, which I think it's R2 and left and right. I can't remember exactly, but you know what I mean. You use these dribble moves effectively and it creates so much. Pro free behind the back is by far the best behind the back in my career. It creates so much space and the AI has no chance in guarding it. And then just learn. Learn your combos from that start. You just need to have that base behind the back and then you can go from there and learn different dribble moves and space creator. That is the new ankle breaker. Don't worry about ankle breaker. Ankle breaker helps a little bit. It freezes them a lot, but it doesn't drop them to the ground like people do in previous games. It just doesn't. Like Space Creator has more chance of dropping them to the ground than what Ankle Breaker does. It, it doesn't make sense, but that's the reality. Space Creator is a must-have dribble move or dribble badge if you need to drop players or freeze players because all you have to do with a step back is hold R2 hit, Hold R2 turbo and hit down on the right stick. And that will do a step back and it creates a lot of things. So if you do that behind the back into a step back, you make them break their ankles. Like they actually nearly fall to the ground and things like that. It probably does happen with ankle breakers, ankle breaker badge, but it is a hell of a lot easier with Space Creator. So the next thing I want to talk about is passing. If you hold X, you will get a better animation than just tapping X. And it triggers Dimer a hell of a lot more. It really does. Dimer doesn't trigger all the time. I don't know if it's a glitch or whatever, but it just doesn't. Like, your players will shoot a wide open three, and Dimer just doesn't trigger. The only times that it triggers if you get certain animations. It's really weird to me. I don't know if it's a fully the same in Park, but in my career... It doesn't trigger all the time. So you need to use these animations by running away from players and holding the X button and creating like a bullet pass. Because when you get that bullet pass, it seems to trigger Dimer a hell of a lot more. You can do this with Icon passing as well. It does work a hell of a lot more. But just tapping X doesn't seem to trigger Dimer a hell of a lot. So as I said, hold the X button or use Icon passing because that will trigger dimer a hell of a lot more but if you're holding x you've got to make sure that there's only one guy in that direction because because you don't want to pass it to the wrong person but if you do throw the bullet pass to the right person it triggers dimer a hell of a lot more the next thing i want to talk about is just holding triangle to make teammates cut to the basket if you hold triangle your player will cut to the basket your teammate so if you hold, say the guys to your right, you hold right and triangle, that player will cut to the basket. If if the play's not on, you can fake it out and hit O while holding triangle, and it will fake the pass. So you don't have to commit to that play all the time. A lot of players don't know that. You can fake pass and it'll stop that, because if you hold triangle too long, it will force the pass. So all you have to do is just, as I said, while you're holding triangle, hit the circle button and it will fake the pass and you can pass to somebody else and don't have to commit to that play because, as I said, if you hold triangle too long, it will just force the pass no matter what. But there's so many opportunities for this, this feature of the game because when you hold triangle, it will you get a player to run around you. Like when you see a player run around you, you can hold triangle and he'll cut straight to the basket. A lot of the time the defender gets caught up in the player and it's an easy drive to the basket. But the one problem is 
it's got to be an open lane to the basket because they do overcommit a hell of a lot. So if you do hold triangle, you've got to make sure it's an open lane to the basket because if you do, don't, they will drive and try and drive over or dunk over seven foot centers. It does not matter. And you're going to be missing the shot a hell of a lot. So if it's an open lane to the basket, hold triangle and it's easy buckets. A lot of the time, if you see a player standing in the corner and you're like, that's not a three point shooter. I need him to cut to the basket. It's a wide lane. Use the triangle, hold triangle, aim the else, the left stick in the direction of the player that you want to cut and hold triangle and they cut straight to the basket and it's easy buckets fellas so that's just a couple more things i want to talk about alley-oops they're your best friend they really are they give you tons of xp and tons of teammate grade you've just got to make sure the big man has a clean lane to the basket and you're on the right angle if you're too close to the basket or the pass doesn't have a chance to arc properly you're not going to have a chance you've got to throw it at the right angles guys and have your big man make sure he has a clear lane to the basket the next thing i want to talk about is a big thing and not a lot of people know about it is turning on coach communication or teammate communication in the coach's settings. That helps a ton, especially on defense. If you can use that on defense, it actually tells you what to do in the pick and roll, whether to go over it, whether to go under it, whether to switch, ice, hedge. It tells you what to do. And when you choose the right selection and do what it says, your defense doesn't break down. But if you choose the wrong selection your defense breaks down but at least with teammate communication you actually know what your teammates expect you to do so it doesn't just break down your defense when you have no idea what they're expecting you to do because you do one thing and then they expect another and then you just both both in no man's land you know what i mean so hopefully that that teammate communication will help a lot in NBA 2K20 my career. But anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. If you do like these rant rave tutorials, I tried to make it as short as I could, but there is a lot of technical details that you need to know, and hopefully you guys can get A pluses and start winning against Hall of Fame my career, and I'll even be making a video on how to get A plus as a big man in NBA 2K20 and 99 overall performance because people have been struggling apparently with that i don't know why but apparently people have been struggling but anyway guys i've talked and raved long enough if you like these tutorials leave a like hit the subscribe button and comment down below anything that you're struggling with when it comes to getting an a plus in the my career in nba 2k20 but anyway guys as i said i've talked and raved long enough leave a like comment subscribe and i'll catch us later